Our next story is brought to you by NordVPN. Help secure your web traffic and protect you from snoops, spies, and anyone else from stealing or monetizing your data. All for 75% off at nordvpn.com slash TYT. Use the code TYT and get a free month now. We haven't done anything. We're a totally peaceful racist group. <laughs> Yes, that is what you call it, just a, a mistake. That was <laughs> <laughs> the organizer of what is called the Straight Pride Parade. Okay, let me tell you what happened. More than 100 people were at a Modesto, California city council meeting uh, last night, actually, to either oppose or support a planned upcoming Straight Pride event in the city. And that moment during the uh, event, sorry, during the meeting is going viral where the organizer of the straight pride event, Don J. Grunman, decides to challenge a city councilwoman to a debate. Doesn't that sound familiar? I challenge you to, it's all those like Twitter trolls that are yeah. always like trying to challenge people with real jobs to a debate. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. I can't. And how'd that work out for you? Right, look how that worked out. You guys wanna see it again? I don't wanna see it again. We're yeah, of course right. I wanna see yeah, it again. Yeah. And then I'll tell you why he even brought race into it when, when it's actually about LGBTQ issues. Right. It turns out, eh, you'll see. But first, let's have fun and watch it again. We haven't done anything. We're a totally peaceful racist group. <laughs> 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 so ridiculous. My two favorite parts are the face palm by the, the yeah. lady on the board. <laughs> And then when he turns around, he's like, no, 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 don't clap, don't clap, please don't clap, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, I didn't mean that slash obviously meant it. Uh, so, all right, uh, so uh, first let's start with the LGBTQ part. Uh -huh. uh, they say that, well, why can't we celebrate heterosexuality? And, right. and we're going to celebrate masculinity, bit of an oxymoron. So look, I know Clint Eastwood's conservative, and but the, the characters that he plays in the movies, like Dirty Harry, etc. do you see them going to, a parade where they celebrate masculinity? No way, right? Like even if you took the most like cliched Hollywood version of masculinity, that's the guy's not going to a straight pride parade to right. celebrate his masculinity. Ridiculous. He's too busy murdering people or whatever he's doing, right? <laughs> right? So like none of it makes any sense. None and of it, it makes any sense. So so we'll, there's more on that, and he says, of course, uh, he's. Uh, Expressing, quote, a very specific religious view of Christianity and its cultural foundations. In his view of Christianity, not all views of Christianity, apparently the foundation is hating other people. So, <laughs> okay, so I think pretty ugly way to take religion. Uh, he says toxic masculinity is not true. Oh okay, so that apparently never happened ever, <laughs> ever in history. So, but why race? He says, uh, first of all, he's got a lot of membership. He said, we got all the way up to 30 or 40 people. Oh, it's a big thing, it's yeah. a big thing, got Congre it. Yeah, mm -hmm. congratulations. And he says, we support all races and colors, including white. Was that a thing, was that a controversy? Like, <laughs> you know, right? Like, we're the bold ones, we're gonna include white people in America, yeah, okay? okay? Because they're, of course, suffering. And in fact, he says, we have a severe attack on white people in our country. Oh my goodness. This is in the midst of mass shooters talking about a Hispanic invasion and how they have to go murder Hispanic people, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Apparently, we have a severe attack on white people. I, I guess I missed that. An invasion. That's yeah. the language we're hearing, right? Yeah. Um, I wonder if you all remember this, like from your days in college. People are saying, why? You know, there's a African American student storm or a you know Hispanic student storm. Why isn't there a white student oh, story? Do you remember that? I have a funny story about that. I've had that debate with people, so I want to hear your story. Okay, so wanna, when I was yeah. working in Memphis, yeah. uh, one of the co-anchors, we had a new yeah. college student, white kid with curly hair, he was yeah. super great. So we were telling a story about the NAACP. And so uh, he's like, you know, why, why does that exist? Why is there not one of those for white people? Why is there not one of those for white people? And my co-anchor at the time was like, well, do you know what it stands for? The national uh, basically advancement. And he said, yeah. you can't advance past the front of the line. And I thought that's perfect because <laughs> that's right. That's why there isn't one yeah. for white people because you're already yeah, at the front yeah, of the yeah, line yeah, because yeah, you yeah. were already considered <laughs> the, the norm for everything. Why is there a Miss Black USA? Because Miss USA is really 
really not black it, usually. It's like, also it's things like that. Like, like yeah. th there's so many flaws in the in the logic behind that, and it's really similar to this, to, you know, to this idea of a straight parade or a heterosexual yeah. parade. Um, first of all, uh, white people are not a singular culture. Mm -hmm. A German student's organization is different than a white student's dorm. But second of all, and here's the thing, you know, here's the point that means the most for me, is you know, people who have been systemically marginalized and are dealing to this day with the trauma of, of that marginalization, including right now trans people, but also gay and, and bisexual and queer people. Um, don't those folks get an, shouldn't they be have an opportunity <laughs> to celebrate, to come together, to build community, to heal and, 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 and share who they are in a human way? No. Now, versus why would those who have oppressed those people want to celebrate that oppression, right? I mean, I'm not saying that heterosexual straight people have inherently done that, but some straight and heterosexual people have done that or systems of heteropatriarchy, right? So it's, there's just no moral equivalency here, right? Like, so like, it's like, it's like someone criticizing like a women's group yeah. or, like, or criticizing like a people of color organization. Mm -hmm. You know, it just yeah. doesn't, it's historically ignorant and, it, and it's, it's just miscast. So I know I go to this too often, but I, I, I'm hoping that it helps give perspective on this. So I started a Turkish student group at, at Penn where I went undergrad. We were a tiny, tiny minority. We were such a small minority that there wasn't even a Turkish student group until I went, right? I would never start a Turkish student group in Turkey. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. right. Because I mean, not only are you the majority and you don't need one, you're the overwhelming majority, but there's an implicit yeah. we're going to like oppress you with that group because you're you already have all the power. So why are you bothering to do a Turkish student group? It's only as juxtaposed to a Kurdish group, an Armenian group, a Greek group, etc. Yeah. And so I I hope that helps understand the you understand the context of when it makes sense and when it doesn't make sense and difference being of being a minority or being a majority in power in a country, right? So, and then finally, just to end on a fun note, uh, this guy says all sorts of terrible things, of course, about LGBTQ folks. He compares them to murderers and drug addicts, says manifestation of broken souls. Hey, he's got all this insanity. But my favorite though, and the fun part is, he said he doesn't use the word gay and I was like, Oh, that's interesting. First of all, I don't want to know what word you do use, right? right? Uh, but why? He says, because it's such a positive marketing and advertising term. Wow. Really? Oh, my God. Fascinating. Wow. wow. Okay. Right. Right. It's I a mean, statement well, of who is masters, right? Huh. Wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's a twist yeah. I didn't expect. Okay. Yeah. But I'm glad you, in a sense, I'm glad you think so. Okay. If you think gay has become a super positive term, Great, wonderful, right. then they finally might get equality in this country. Finally, right. right. Well, hey, you made it this far, you must really like the Young Turks, thank you, we really appreciate you. Now, another easy way to keep supporting us also helps keep your internet activities and data private, all with a push of the NordVPN app. Head to nordvpn.com slash tyt right now for 75% off of your next three years.